Are you looking for a Master of Ceremony script or Master of Ceremony quotes? Well, you're in the right place. I'm going to share a huge resource with you. Hey, it's Timothy Hyde here from ExpertMC.com, the channel dedicated to helping you become a better MC, both on stage and off stage. In this episode, I'm going to share with you the absolutely best way and the best place to access some Master of Ceremony quotes so you can insert them and integrate them into your Master of Ceremony scripts. But first, a big welcome if it's your first time here on the channel. We publish weekly, so why don't you consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future episodes. You know, great quotes for MCs, ideas, sayings, quips, lines and snippets that you can use in your MC scripts are all around us. We just have to be aware of them and ready to grab hold of them and then store them away ready for future use. Now, rather than desperately trying to research something on the internet or in a book at the very last minute, I want you to make the conscious decision to start assembling your own resources right now. I call it a resource book, and it really is the MC's secret weapon. I've been writing down these things for as long as I can remember. I've got cupboards full of them. I've even got my dad's old exercise book somewhere full of funny quotes. Now, three points I want to cover in this video. What should be in your resource book? Two, how should you store that information? And where can you access a great supply? As MCs, there are a few points where you often need an appropriate line or a quote. Say, opening the event, introducing a speaker, thanking a speaker, linking different activities together, perhaps wrapping up an event at the end of the night or at the end of a day. Now, we've done videos on all of those things, and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. So I'm always on the lookout for quotes, sayings, lines, and very quick jokes that I can slip in if needed. These are the sort of things that you should be collecting. So where do you get them? I I'm always listening when I'm listening to a podcast or the radio ready for little ideas or watching television. I also read a lot of magazines and also pop into the, the local library or any secondhand bookshop that I see as I'm passing by. And if you, you go there, go to the, the humor section or the writing section and you can often get books of quotations or funny lines that you can add to your repertoire. I've also included quite a few sayings and lines and quotes and jokes in the articles that I have written on the Expert MC website. And you can link that obviously in the description below. So the next thing that you need is a way to capture and store that information. And I always suggest that any MC has a notebook with them at all times. You carry that at all times, whether you're in the world during the day or especially at assignments. And I know paper and pen or pen and pencil sounds a little bit old school, but in many ways it's more efficient and a whole lot faster than digital. So if you hear something on, on television or see a funny billboard as you're walking along or you think of something in the middle of the night, you've got a place to store it instantly. So carry a small pad and pen with you or some index cards at all times. Then also keep a, a Word document or similar on your computer and schedule some time, either weekly or monthly, to take the information that is in your notepad and put it into that larger document. Now that document will grow into this huge and valuable resource. You just put it as part of your office system. It's a little bit like the locked box system that I've taught you before. The other approach is to go completely digital and use something like Evernote or Dropbox. And I'll put a link to both of those in the description below. What I love about using the, the notebook and the computer file is that every three months or so I can print the whole document out and then I bind it up or I put a, a bulldog clip on it and you get this great big document or resource manual. And this is actually, this is mine. This is the one that I take to assignments. And so while I'm sitting there, if I've introduced a speaker and he's saying some interesting things and I think, oh, I've got a quote about that and, and I can look it up and incorporate it when I 
thank him at the end. But I also use this to keep notes during the assignment. If I say something spontaneously, and this quite often often happens, and you will find this too, you'll say something, oh, that was quite a nice way of putting that. Jot it down in the book so you have captured it for later use. So jot it down as soon as you can. Then when I get back home to the office, I will go through this book and see if there's anything in here that I need to update on the main file. There's also other things that you'll want to keep in your resource manual. You might want to put the professional MC's cheat sheet in there. That's the list of questions that you can ask any speaker or help you run a great panel discussion. And it saved my bacon on many an occasion. You also probably want to start building up your filler material. Filler material is the stuff that you do, the exercises and activities. If you have some time to fill in, perhaps the CEO is running late and you need to do 10 minutes. Or the last speaker before lunch only does 10 minutes and you were expecting 45 and lunch isn't ready yet. What are you going to do? Well, if it's me, I turn to the page in my resource book that I have with me and I know instantly what sort of activity or questions or, or thing that I can do to fill in that time. But also it's a valuable thing, not just a fun, frivolous thing. So that's the sort of material that you want to keep in your resource book. Now, the main thing here is that I want you to start gathering your material right now. I also want you to be aware that it is all around us. You just need to, to acknowledge that and start gathering it. And you need to have a system for storing it and you need to have a system for accessing it. By the way, before we finish up, if you would like access to a copy of my very own resource manual that's over 20 years worth of jokes and quotes and lines and sayings and thank yous and introductions, etc. And a whole lot of filler material for those great big gaps and a whole lot more, a whole lot of advice from not just me, but six other full time professional MCs. Then I'll leave a link to it up there and also in the description below. And it's available from our website at a very reasonable cost. Folks, speaking of it's going to save you a whole lot of time. And speaking of time, that's all we have got time for in this week's episode. Hey, leave a comment in the comments below. We like to read them all and we try and answer the ones that we can. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed, just click my face coming up. Otherwise, I will see you in a week's time.